pleasure to host you after our last meeting at NATO's uh, Defense Ministry. I believe it was in February that we last spoke together. As a NATO partner, Macedonia has taken strong steps to meet these challenges itself, sending troops to assist NATO's resolute support mission in Afghanistan, thank you, and contributing to the defeat ISIS coalition, again, thank you. And you're doing this as a partner nation, placing yourself firmly on the path to spend the 2% of GDP on defense. So it's, again, your example is heartening. And I must applaud Macedonia's resistance to Russia's malign influence in the Balkans, and I welcome your, your continued leadership by example in this region. And by expelling a Russian diplomat after the Salisbury uh, chemical weapon attack, it, that shows, too, how Macedonia stands firmly on the side of civilized nations and for international law. Since our independence, we have placed NATO membership as our key strategic priority. And we have secured and maintained a very strong consensus within our society for this. We have engaged in defense, important defense reforms, supported strongly by, by the U.S., and we have increased our contributions to the NATO-led mission in mm -hmm. Afghanistan. We have proven to be a dedicated and reliable partner, and we aim to be also such an ally as mm -hmm. member of the Alliance. Ten of our colleagues were killed in Afghanistan yesterday. The message from this building has consistently been that things, uh, the situation is turning around, that things are improving there. How do you reconcile this difference? Uh, first, I don't know that that's been the message from this building. I would not subscribe to that. We said last August, uh, NATO is going to hold the line. Uh, we knew there would be tough fighting uh, going forward. The murder of journalists and other innocent people is a great testimony to what it is we stand for, more importantly, what we stand against. The uh, Afghan military is being made more capable. You'll notice that more of the forces are special forces, advised and assisted, accompanied by NATO mentors, and these are the most effective forces. So the expansion there is why the enemy has been unable to take any district centers, provincial centers, or make any advances there. Unfortunately, once in a while they get through because any terrorist organization that realizes it can't win by ballots and turns to bombs, this is simply what they do. They murder innocent people. We'll stand by the Afghan people, we'll stand by the Afghan government, and the NATO mission will continue as we drive them to a political settlement. But thanks very much, everybody.